Happy Monday, comic book fans. Guys, I am back with another question for you. And today it is, how important is continuity to superhero comic books? Now, this came up after I read an article on bleedingcool.com that talked about how DC is moving from a multiverse to an omniverse uh, style of writing, which means they're kind of leaving continuity behind and moving into a more fluid history for its characters. Now, this really got me thinking because Batman is my favorite character of all time. I just absolutely love him. And he has a very rich and long history. Do I know all of it? No. Do I know some of it? Of course I do. I've been reading Batman for the past 20 plus years. Um, and I love this character and I love a lot of the history that it's been written. But I have some positives. I have some negatives about this. I have a little blurb that I want to read and I'm going to have some final thoughts at the end of the video. And guys, please stick around to the end. Um, and let me know your positives and your negatives down in the comments. I would love to have a discussion with you guys because you guys commented so much in the last video and I absolutely loved each and every one of you guys' comments in communicating with you guys. Now, before we dive into this, make sure you guys are subscribed to the video, or channel, channel that is. Um, hit that bell for um, notifications. That way you guys are notified when we go upload new content to the channel. And also when we go live, we go live every single Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern on Comics and Beer. And last but not least, smash that like button. It really helps promote the channel to the YouTube algorithm. Algorithms, algorithms. All right, guys, um, enough is enough. I'm gonna read a little blurb from the article right now, and that is, well, the rumors are heating up. What remains of the New 52 will be done away with after DC Rebirth, DC Death Metal, and Future State in favor of an omniverse model in which characters in comic books are no longer tied to strict continuity and will play faster and looser with history. Now, obviously there's positives and negatives to this. Negatives to this. And we're gonna take some time right now and go over the positives because there's definitely positives that are gonna come out of this. And the first one up is creators are not gonna have to know the full history of some of these characters. I mean, Batman has been around since 1939, 81 years of history that a person or a creator, a writer, would have to know to really stick to the continuity. Now, does continuity happen all the time with all these characters? No, because it's kind of impossible in comics to always stick to continuity, but they try to, they do their best. Freedom to bring back characters that are dead. That's right, they can, it doesn't matter anymore. Character died and you wanna bring back a new character? Guess what, you can. You wanna turn a good character evil or evil character good? Guess what, you can. You can do whatever you want with any of these characters to tell a good story. And that's important. A lot of creators feel, I think, sometimes hamstrung to tell the stories that they want to tell because they have to stick within this current, like, you know, continuity of these characters. Maybe they get a really cool Green Arrow story that doesn't involve Ollie, or maybe Ollie is a different kind of person, or whatever. They can do whatever they want with any of these characters to tell cool stories. And that's what they're gonna have to do to make this cool, is to tell really cool stories with these. The next thing is, they won't have to worry about crossover events coming in and screwing with their stories. How many times have you been reading a really awesome story? Like the first one that comes to mind for me is Venom. Venom got totally thrown off by War Realms. It was like they were on such a good arc and then they were forced into War Realms and it kind of just like, ever since then, the book hasn't been the same to me. It really hasn't. And now they're not gonna have to worry about it. Crossover happens, eh, whatever. I'm writing my story, it's not gonna be affected. Screw you, crossover. Another great thing is ease of jumping in to new stories for new readers. For I, I know for a fact, for new readers jumping into Batman, Superman, X-Men, Captain America, there is such a rich history, a long storied history that jumping into these new characters and you're kind of expected to know a lot of this history, you don't have to worry about it any anymore because all these stories are just gonna be new stories. You're not gonna have to know that which is basically Elseworlds Tales, which is great. I love Elseworlds Tales. Batman, um, The White Knight, incredible, incredible story. Love it, love it so much. But for new readers, it's gonna be even better because all these stories are gonna be easily accessible to them. I think the last big positive for DC is that it's gonna be so much easier to license these new ideas uh, for toys and TV shows and movies because they are new rich ideas that people can hopefully easily jump into um, and enjoy. They're not worried about, like I said, this 
long, rich continuity of the history of the character. They can just jump in, it's brand new, and it only has like, what, maybe 12 issues that they can really jump into and enjoy, however how long that new series is. It is time to talk about the negatives, guys, and obviously there's negatives. And the first one for me is just forgetting about decades worth of a rich continuity. These characters have been around for so long and continuity has been an integral part to superhero comics. If you just forget about 80, 60, 50, however how long that character's been around, to me, it kind of feels like an insult to the original writers and creators of these characters. All right, the next thing on my negative list is no story will matter anymore. You write a really cool story, well, guess what? The right next writer on the book can just throw that out and do whatever they want. Yes, that, that story will still be there, but it won't matter to the next writer. It won't matter to the universe because it's an omniverse. It's, it's its own little thing over there. Does not matter. It will not affect anyone else. I really enjoy when something happens in a book and then it kind of affects other books. It really is makes the world feel cohesive. It feels like you're part of one world. When nothing matters anymore, why does it matter that Batman did this or Superman did that? Because it's not really happening. Or it is, but it's not affecting anyone else. I don't know. That to me is a big negative. Nothing matters anymore if you take away continuity. Will crossovers mean anything anymore? I mean, a, part, a big part of what crossovers are, are their big status quo changers. They change status quo for a universe. They stay, change status quo, quo for a character from usually multiple years. How are crossovers gonna work anymore if nothing matters anymore? I just, that's a big thing I wanna understand. And crossovers are big money makers for DC and Marvel. If you take continuity away, what does it matter? It doesn't. And that is mind boggling to me that you would do that. Am I wrong in thinking this? It will, will crossovers still matter because they're gonna matter on a big scale? But they just said that histories are gonna be loose. You can really just do whatever you want. I don't know. That's, a, that's, that's an interesting one to me. Will it matter? All right, guys, that was all the negatives I have. As you can tell, there was a lot more positives than there were negatives, but those negatives are so big to me. Um, they are definitely weighing that scale down more than the positives. It's like being a superhero reader for such a long time, for the past 20 plus years of my life, it's just taking that all the way seems like you are kind of like gutting what Batman is. I believe, personally, that you need a Batman line that's that's staying within continuity. You have this one book, you can just make it the Batman book, make it the detective comics, whatever Batman book you want it to be, but that book needs to focus on continuity. Maybe you have like little mini universes like Batman the White Knight, Batman the Purple Knight, Batman the Orange Knight, whatever you want it to be, but those are pocket universes doing their own thing where you have one main storyline. Same thing with all the main characters. You have one universe, but go ahead and have your pocket little guys as long as they don't affect the main continuity of the DC universe. But from this article, it seems like that's not going to be the case. There's going to be just stories being told. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. I don't know. I'm not a genius. I'm not, I'm not partial. I don't have any contacts at DC that are explaining this in detail to me. All I read in this article is that they're going to play faster and looser with characters' histories. And that to me is... I don't know, that's gonna be a delicate line for them to, to, to play where, you know, readers, their main readers, I guarantee you have been reading for years and years and years. And you might lose a lot of your mainstay readers if you do this, but, but, in doing this, you might bring in a whole new batch of young readers who might stick around for the long haul with this. But also DC tends to flip flop all the time. They, you know, have done DC Rebirth and I don't know, they've they rebooted the universe so many times I can't even keep track of all the names they've done it. But doing this seems dicey, in my opinion. But what do I know? I'm one guy. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think on this topic because again, 
what do, what does my opinion matter? Very little to the DC Comics and Warner Brothers. They don't care what Bruce Moreau thinks, but maybe you guys do. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys agree with me? Disagree with me? Do you have other thoughts? I would love to hear it. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys get your subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this thing video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.